Hi, welcome to Alicia Academy. Today's technology largely depend upon the um, future Hadoop processing. So we are going to see the big data computing process for that. So here, today's Hadoop technology is mainly focused for the processing of the big data. For the actually, the Hadoop is an open source software framework that supports data intensive distributed application actually Hadoop is a map reduce process in which the application is divided into many small fragments of work each of which may be executed on the nodes of Hadoop clusters actually the map reduce framework assign work to the nodes in a cluster in the Hadoop environment we can able to work with the petabytes of petabytes of data by using HDFS Actually, HST Office is a Hadoop distributed file system which is a scalable and efficient and portable file system under data storage of the Hadoop framework. There is a ma major advantages of the Hadoop computing is first the thing is the reliable data replication across the multiple nodes. Next thing is the scalability. So we can able to scale large data that is called big data here and the cost effective. So cost effective because of the parallel processing is actually executed which results in the work done in a lesser executional time. The main important advantage of the Hadoop processing is the ability to fault tolerate. So it is a fault tolerant, it has a fault tolerant capacity in which one node fails means it assigns the jobs to another node results in the fault tolerant data processing that we need so many tools. So here I am listing the main important tools which is required for configuring the Hadoop. First we require the Sigwin terminal. Actually the um, Sigwin terminal is a Linux based tool for executing the commands, the Linux commands from the Windows machine. Then we need the Hadoop 0.18 SDK RPU which is responsible for executing the Hadoop jobs. Next we need the Hadoop virtual machine with the VM player. So actually the Hadoop virtual machine is responsible for executing all the jobs from the remote node and we are going to configure the Hadoop in a multi-cluster node configuration so that we need the Hadoop virtual machine and the VM player. Actually the VM player which is uh, uh, used to for loading the virtual uh, machine image and used to, to execute that image we need the VM player at last at last we need uh, the Eclipse 0 for SDK which is here we are going to configure the Hadoop process uh, with the Java process Java and we, in order to develop an application or anything we need uh, we need to bind it with an IDE so, so that we uh, use the Eclipse 0 Europa for executing the Java applications with the help of Hadoop. 